In this news bulletin, the following items are covered. The internet has become indispensable, but it has one major weakness. It sucks massive amounts of energy. Related to that is the question where our energy will come from in 2030 and how we will address global warming once we're over the tipping point. And also in this news bulletin we will discuss the diabetes time bomb as well as the rising costs of cancer. Tackling today's complex challenges requires the combination of many disciplines. One increasingly prominent and promising discipline is photonics. Photonics is the science of light. Light consists of photons that can carry energy as well as information. Light from the sun brings energy to this world. Light enables the internet through optical fiber networks. Light allows to probe materials without touching them and to unravel their properties down to the nanoscale. Photonics is a young discipline which builds upon physics and engineering. At Ghent University, Belgium, it has developed into a spearhead research discipline. Established in 1817, Ghent University has a rich history of groundbreaking scientific research. The beautiful Flemish city of Ghent is located 55 kilometers north of Belgium's capital, Brussels. The Lonely Planet has rated Ghent in the top 10 world list of cities to visit. The city now houses 38,000 university students, including many international students, and this adds to its young, vibrant and festive character. Ghent University has 11 faculties with more than 130 departments providing high-quality courses and innovative research. Taking advantage of this unique opportunity, Ghent University endeavors to create multidisciplinary research platforms through which research from various faculties and departments can interact, share knowledge and cooperate to achieve common goals. NB Photonics is such a platform. NB Photonics, the Center for Nano and Biophotonics of Ghent University, is a multidisciplinary research center involving 20 professors from very diverse backgrounds, spanning from engineering to life sciences, from advanced materials research to application-oriented R&D. Ever since the digital revolution, demand for large bandwidth and high-speed data processing is growing exponentially. Today, the internet alone accounts for 2% of the global power consumption, and it is growing by 10% each year. If we want to continue to enjoy the benefits of the internet, we need to solve this problem. Researchers at NB Photonics believe that silicon photonic integrated circuits hold the key to combine massive bandwidth with drastically scaled down power consumption. Photonic ICs, just as electronic ICs, uh, integrate a lot of functionality on a single chip, on a single substrate. A material system which, which might be ideal for realizing such photonic uh, ICs might be silicon. Silicon has very low optical losses and it also has a very high uh, refractive index. But silicon cannot do the job on its own, especially not for efficient light emission. It needs to be empowered by new materials, in particular by nanomaterials. Semiconductor quantum dots, made by colloidal chemistry, have the potential of making this possible. Quantum dots are tiny crystallites of a semiconductor material, containing about 100 to 1000 atoms. Quantum dots can find electrons, where smaller quantum dots emit higher frequency light which results in an optical material with size-dependent properties. Quantum dots can be synthesized by chemical methods. This gives you colloidal particles available in a liquid dispersion. As such, they can be easily integrated with various technology platforms, such as silicon on insulator or silicon nitride. Biophotonics is the second cornerstone of NB Photonics. In this field, engineers and bioengineers work together with physicists, chemists and biologists to use photonics for lab-on-chip biosensors, for minimally invasive diagnostic and therapeutic techniques, for drug development and for fundamental cell biology. Photonic technologies allow to make lab-on-chip devices for immunoassays, for DNA analysis and for breath analysis. 
This holds the promise of low-cost point-of-care instruments for early diagnosis of diseases, as well as for personalized treatment of diseases. What we're developing here are lab-on-a-chip systems, and they have a very small silicon photonics chip embedded in them, and this chip can tell you uh, if certain biomolecules are present. And this can be used to figure out if you have a certain disease. Now, silicon photonics is a very interesting platform for this, because it allows you to manufacture these chips very cheaply. And also, because of miniaturization, it allows you to put many of these sensors on a single optical chip. One of the challenges in probing biomolecules and cells in a liquid is to trap them in a fixed position, long enough to probe them. Once more, photonics comes with a solution by using laser light to act as a tweezer for these particles. Optical trapping is the use of light to exert forces on particles. By controlling photons in exactly the right way, we can manipulate a particle in exactly the way we want. In a typical setup for optical trapping, there's a microscope, a laser and a lot of lenses and mirrors, so, so it's bulky and expensive. So we're investigating ways to integrate everything on a single device, so that we can use optical tweezing on a lab on a chip. For decades, optical microscopy has been a workhorse for understanding the behavior of living cells. In recent years, there has been a revolution of new microscopy techniques that allow to enhance the resolution, the contrast and the functionality of the cell images. The Cell Systems and Imaging Research Group aims at understanding human disease from a cell-centered perspective. To this end, we exploit the power of advanced light microscopy tools. Essentially, we use photons to interrogate living biological systems at the subcellular level. We develop entire workflows that enable minimally invasive and statistically relevant sampling of individual reporter cells, integrating n-dimensional live cell imaging with high content image analysis. Earlier on we discussed how quantum dots can play a role for photonic integrated circuits. The same quantum dots and also other types of nanoparticles are also of key importance in biophotonics, for example for drug delivery research. We apply advanced light microscopy techniques, for instance to drug delivery where nanoparticles such as liposomes are being developed to deliver therapeutic molecules into target cells. But the same microscopy techniques are also useful for studying the delivery of nanoparticles for bioimaging, such as quantum dots. Multidisciplinary research is challenging because it requires all researchers involved to at least understand the language and the basic concepts of another than their own core discipline. Therefore, NB Photonics is not just about research. It is also about knowledge transfer and bridging across disciplines. This is achieved through regular seminars, through a summer school, through short internships in other labs and through brainstorm sessions. Some of our PhD students work on a joint project. They have a home in two different research labs. In this way they acquire a truly multidisciplinary profile, a key asset for them to tackle tomorrow's problems. In the future, innovation will increasingly be the result of interdisciplinary approaches and close collaboration between engineers and scientists of very diverse backgrounds. NB Photonics is a platform to make this happen.